Welcome back. I'm here trying to, this is like the most painful thing I've ever done in my entire life, and I can't believe that you're watching this, but you are. Um, I'm trying to make the game 2048, and uh, I have gotten so far as to make the game work, but only in, what's a One Direction song? Somebody tell me. Only in One Direction, which is down. So if I hit the space bar, everything will move down. Now, it would be really nice for you to be able to see an animation, to have a sense that um, what it's really doing, and we haven't seen anything combine yet. Let's come on, get something to combine. Oh, there we go. But you can see that everything's coming down and the numbers are combining when they're equal. This is exactly like how the game 2048 plays. Of course, this is much nicer to have a nice animation and different colors and all that sort of stuff. But what I need to do is I need to be able to go in any direction. So let's at least double check here in key pressed that I can say, I think, if key equals up arrow, Let's, let me look in, I, I can't remember what the constants are in P5. Up arrow is something. Yeah, it's 38. So, um, and what if I say console.log key? Ah, so I think I probably want the key code because the key, uh, it's giving me, it's not giving me the number. I think I want, I think I want this. Yeah. So key code is what I want. I want key code equal to up arrow. And I can use a switch statement. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> down arrow. So down is what it's doing already. Let's just try to get up and down. So if key code equals down arrow, do nothing. Do nothing. If key code equals up arrow, what I need to do is just flip everything, right? So I can go through and I can say flip grid equals flip grid, right? I just want to flip the grid. So I can write a function called flip for any two-dimensional array. And I'm going to go through all four rows. And I'm just going to say grid index i if I say dot reverse on an array, does it return in a new, new array? Let a equal one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A dot reverse. So it actually reverses the array. So it operates on that same array. So I could say grid index i reverse. Um, I can say, uh, let flipped equal false, flipped equals true. So I want to flip it. Then I want to, uh, I'm just going to let, I'm going to assume I'm only going to press the arrow keys. And then I'm going to uh, flip it again. So, um, and I, do I want to, I don't need to return it. I just need to flip it. So I don't need to, so I'm going to flip the grid. And then if it was flipped, flip it back. So this should be now, this is just like for up and down. This should work for up and down. <laughs> Let's see if this works. A little, little crazy thing that I've done here. Down. Oops. Down. Okay, down. Let's go up. Up. Down, up, down, down, up, <laughs> down, down, up, down, up. This is totally working. Down, up, down, up, down. And eventually the game's going to be over because I don't have any more moves left. OK, so that works. Whew. So now I need else if key code equals right arrow. Now I need to rotate the grid. Ooh. Grid equals rotate the grid. So I need to rotate it. Let's rotate the grid. I think I want a new array. I think I want a new. So I'm, by the way, I want a function. This is very silly. I want to have a function. I'm put it all the way at the top called blank grid. And what that does is it just returns this. 
Because I need to do this quite a bit, just give me a blank one. So now I can say grid equals blank grid. Yeah, I love that. And then somewhere else where I did the crazy copy thing, extra equals blank grid. So that's going to be much nicer. Because what I want to do when I rotate it, and I definitely, I, get, I need to call it rotate grid. And I should probably be consistent here and say flip grid with my naming, flip grid, flip grid. And I definitely should break this up into different files and maybe organize my code. Boy, I got to refactor this stuff. Flip grid, change this to flip grid. Now I'm going to write one called rotate grid. Now, this shouldn't be too hard. I should just do a nice little nested loop. And I should get, I should create, I should create a new grid, is a blank grid, and then in the new grids, I, J, I take the old grids, J, I. And now, um, so what this would do is now, I want to rotate the grid, and then I'm going to have to unrotate it. <laughs> Can I just rotate it a few more times? <laughs> so right. So let's see. So so I'm going to have a variable called let rotate equal false rotated. So this is rotated equals true. Then what I'm going to do, if rotated. Then what should I do? I just want to rotate it a few more times. Right? Rotate it once, twice, one, two, three. Only three more times. I'll get back, right? <laughs> That's brilliant coding right there. All right, let's give this a try. Up, down, up, down. Those work. What did I have to press? Eight, right arrow? OK, got an error. <laughs> Cannot set property undefined at rotate grid sketch.js line 71. Uh, rotate grid, new grid is a blank grid, i, j equals grid, j, i. Oh, look at this. That's really bad. That's really bad. J, okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> down, up, down, up. Right, okay, got another error. Cannot read property, undefined, a copy grid, sketch.js line 53. Ah, rotate grid is messing something up. <laughs> rotate grid does not return the new grid. There we go. <laughs> return the new grid, rotate grid. Thank you very much. Ha! This is totally working. Up, down, up, right. Now I can't go to the left. So now I need. This is going to be, this is no problem though. Watch this. <laughs> this is total insanity. But else if key code equals left arrow, now grid equals rotate grid, grid. I want to rotate it and then flip, flip grid. Grid equals flip grid, grid. And you know what? I should just always return, I should always return a reference. Like even though, like because it's just too confusing to keep track of which functions do which. So I'm going to go back to my flip grid function. <laughs> scroll, 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 and just say return grid. So now, if I'm going to the left, I can rotate it, then flip it. Then, and grid equals flip. And so here, not only is it rotated, but it's also flipped. So then I can flip it back and rotate it three times, and I should be good. Now, here's the thing I should only be doing this if I press one of these keys. So I'm going to make a variable called uh, played equals false. Um, and I'm going to say played equals true. And again, this can really be refactored. <laughs> really, I should do a th part three of this to refactor this probably. But all of the, all four of these keys, 
I am playing. And so now, if I have played, then I can do all this crazy nonsense if it's changed at a number. Otherwise, console.log game. Well, it's not game over because I could, it's only if I have no moves left. So I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. OK, let's see. What's the chance? Oh, yeah, I could use else. Played is true. Right? I can assume that I've played. But in all other cases, I can at least make this a little better. <laughs> in all other cases, right? if it's some other key, played is false. So I'm going to assume that I've played. And now, let's see. Okay, down, whoops. Down, okay, down. Down is combining to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the left, up, to the right, to the right, to the left, down, to the right, down. Whoops, I don't know what I just did. To the right. I, I'm pretty sure this is actually working. Um, it actually is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, and hooray. Great. OK, so this is the functionality of the game. Uh, there's going to be a part three. This is three in three parts. Part three, I will add the score and determine if there's no moves left. OK, so that's what I need to do. And I think that what I can do is maybe I'll, in, in part three, I might refactor a few things. I'm getting some good suggestions from the chat. OK, uh, all right. Thanks for watching this so far. Wow, I think I might have made 2048 by accident somehow. <laughs>